<laughs> already. What's up? <laughs> How's it going? We got Kareem here with us today. Dude, uh, shouldn't he be in between us? Or shouldn't you like? Oh yeah, <laughs> Kareem here with us today. Yeah. And uh, this guy's pretty awesome. Kareem guard. What? Tell tell the viewers the story oh, yeah. about the gardener -er thing. Uh, yeah. This thing is, I made my account like a while ago, like a really long ago, because I just wanted to subscribe to like Ray William Johnson, like only him. And I made Kareem Gardener. And then I didn't know my password because I didn't, I was like 10. So I was like, oh, I, I don't, I just put in any random numbers. So <laughs> I don't do that. So I made a new one and they're like, you can't use Kareem Gardener. And I was like, okay. So then I had to put an extra ER and then, yeah. And then she like noticed my other comment and I was oh. like, yeah. Cause I, everybody was like, Kareem, when did you add an extra ER to the end of your name? I'm like, I didn't like <laughs> accident. Yeah. Okay. See, um, Chance couldn't make it. He was also supposed to guest star this oh, week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he's here. So it works. Cream's, Cream's cooler anyway. Screw you, Chance. Men showed her. Hard. <laughs> I'm kidding. Can this count as our random weekly segment or not? Uh, no. Okay. No. By the way, um, Kareem, I don't know. The, the intro that we have yeah. is from Molly, and she, she says hi, welcome. So we don't say it. We don't have to say that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi! Well, come! Another episode of Un. Wait, what was it again? Oh, script! Ted! And if you want to get an unscripted shirt like what I have right here, go to nathan.spritshirt.com to get the shirts and other merchandise. It is Friday, episode number 125. Mm hmm. Um, intro from Molly Brown, as we just said, actually. Uh, background from Die Hearts, or Nicholas Muzio. And guest starring Kareem. We just said, we already said that, right? Yeah, we already said yeah. that? Don't even... Pfft. Question number. One! Die Wait, I, I say this. Question number. Okay. One. <laughs> Die Hearts asks, what was the worst mistake either you or the others in ERB parodies have made in your rap battles? Oh, I guess this is a question towards me. Oh. Uh. We can't answer. <laughs> uh, worst mistake. Uh, we, well, don't, we don't make mistakes. We're perfect. Actually, I think I could answer this. You could? Well, our worst mistake we ever made was releasing um, Harry Potter versus Percy Jackson. That was our worst mistake. <laughs> I haven't been in a lot of battles. Um, I think I did fine as Misa, honestly. But as Mother Nature, um... I could have looked a lot more, like, emotional and into it when I did the video. Better and costume. I, w I was just about to say that I could have gotten a better costume. So basically my appearance in Mother Nature was the worst mistake I made there. Yeah. I got a funny uh, thing, like, you know, I got told, that's how I found Stephanie. I was like, hey, look, Mother Nature versus whoever. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. The thing is, I looked up, I was like, all right, I got to find out who Toby is because he's awesome. And then I was like whoa and then i was like all right i'm gonna watch more and it led me to other videos other accounts and i was like mother nature oh let me check her out too and i was like whoa they're like dating like whoa that's awesome yeah <laughs> that, that coincidence cool. stuff that makes me really happy yeah <laughs> question number two kareem gardner this guy asks I on ask, a scale of one to ten how much swag do you both have judge each other mm. solid eight a solid eight, a s like solid, like solid. it is full on eight. Eight. Oh, you have, you have to uh, s put a scale on Kareem. How oh, much yeah. swag do he has? Ten. Ten swags. Ten swags. Dude, look at this kid. Got his Captain Puerto Rico yeah, hat. Scale. He's balling over there. Yeah, He's balling uncontrollably <laughs> over there. Balling uncontrollably. I balling think. Uncontrollably. I I'll have to go with solid yeah. eight for you as well, actually. Really. Thank you. What Pretty about swaggy. Kareem, I would... Oh, that's going to be in frame. I would have... For Kareem, I would have to go with... I would agree. A solid 10. Cool. Did you say solid? I'm saying... You know, I'll say 11. You're 11 swagging over there. What would I you give you guys us? both like a 75 and a half. Wow. Thank you. 
on a scale of one to ten. Oh, <laughs> that's so much. That's that's pretty swagging. It is. Yeah. I just ruined my my number. Yeah, yeah you, that. you just went down to a seven. I went down to a seven. No, I'm kidding. You're you're still at it. Question number three. Let let him say three, man. I'm yeah, sorry. What if, what if I want to say three? Three. <laughs> Popper pooper or popper. I think it's popper pooper. Asks, do you think that you are a better person if you are religious and go to church? Kareem, you can answer this first. What? What? Oh no. We just ruined everything. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened either. That just ruined everything. That's cool. I'm okay. Um wait, did you hear the question? No. Okay. Popper Pooper asks, do you think that you are a better person if you are religious and go to church? Okay. Um I pers oh, personally I don't think so. I think people can be completely fine no matter what. I mean, like, I'm, I'm really just, I'm Christian. I go to church and all that stuff, but I don't think of myself as any better than someone that doesn't believe in God. I, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Like, if, because there's plenty of people out there that call themselves Christians and do bad things, and there's people out there that call themselves atheists that do much better things. So that, I just think that's not really I, it. I completely agree with that answer. Yeah, that's that pretty much what I was going to say. That's exactly what I was going to say. Well, except that I'm not Christian, and I don't really go to church. Oh, yeah, I don't go to church either, but I am Christian. Well, I mean, I go to church with my grandmother on, like, Easter and Christmas special occasions. A Christian Baptist church, but I, I've said this multiple times. I don't really have a religion because there's no proof, so I even believe in anything. <laughs> yeah. Just you say that opinion. a lot on here. I don't, like... At least one episode every week. You've been saying that lately. You've been saying, really? "I do not believe it if there's no proof." You've been saying that a lot, hasn't she? I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't think if I caught that. I watch all your every episodes, but I'm not sure if I caught That's that. Awesome. Thank you for watching all of them. But um, yeah, I watch all, them all. I try to be first, but then I'm like, okay, somebody else got first. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. Are we on five? Four? Four. Well, he can't see the PowerPoint. Yeah, you gotta true. give him credit. Or cut him slack, I should say. Lassie Scanning Jorgensen asks, If you know any Danish cult culture, what is your favorite? I like Danishes. Are Danishes really <laughs> Danish? <laughs> no. Well, uh, maybe. I'm sorry, oh. but I honestly don't know a thing about Danish culture. I do not either. <laughs> I, I read that comment and I was like, I, I feel like this is gonna get picked and we're not gonna know what to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was um, I commented like after after that I think. Really? Yeah, because yeah, I, I was like, like, I wanna I wanna I wanna go Google search everything just so I can answer it, but I, That's I didn't. True. Uh, I don't want to Google search it because then I'll get distracted by it and then it'll cover yeah. the thing and then the, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it wouldn't really be unscripted so much then, I I think. Like, oh yeah. I just want to look it up, see what it is. Yeah, I guess. Remind me to do that later. I'm I'm curious to know. All right. Question number five. Xander Piers asks, "How come people say life is a game when really, it's a path?" Whoa. I I actually I don't think it's a path. I I think it is a game. Because what is it a path to? Death. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I don't really think it's a path like set in stone i think it is more like a game with crazy obstacles coming at you i, I don't know i think a path sound make it makes it sound like it's just set in stone like this is the way you go yeah the game is follow like, the yellow brick road you make your own choices stuff happens unexpectedly like it's, it's a crazy game what do you think i think uh i'm not sure like it depends because i go like super literal on the things like i mean like i agree because you know life is Everything is like things can happen anytime. But when I think of like life as a game, I think of it as like everything's set up and you're supposed to go a certain way and everything's all like coded and stuff. And you think about it like that. Okay. But uh, no, I agree with you guys though because life is definitely not a path. And if it was, it'd be billions of different paths that lead to more. Yeah, path. I mean, I I can certainly see what he's saying. I see where he's coming from, but it, I personally think it's more of a game. Yeah. Go with it. 
<laughs> Question number six. Fanboy Rat Battles asks, "How tall are you and Nathan?" I am four eleven. Green. I'm five nine. And how tall are you, Green? Five five and a half. Five five and a half. Cool. I'm a tall man in You're this You're like right crowd. in between us. I'm in between you guys. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like candy Wait, sticks. Wait, like, am I am I literally in between you guys too? Like right now? Yeah. No, oh. you're actually. He's. Oh, um, oh yeah. He's right yeah. here. He's, you're right here. Yeah. So you've yeah. been looking over there because the laptop's actually over there, but on the show he's gonna be in between us. I love your guys' hair, by the way. Our hair. Right. Thank you. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, I'm a lot taller than her. Like if we, yeah. Like just, oh, I'm out of frame when I do that. But you, you, know, you get the point. Yeah. Well, let, let's both stand up. I'm like, whoa. Okay, so it cuts off like right here. Yeah. Like right below my eyes. No, <laughs> I'm my neck doesn't even get in frame. And you're you're further back from me too. Like at would oh, you yeah, be worse if, if get... you were up closer? Yeah. Now I'm where you are. Now it's like. Not, my shoulders are out of frame even. Yeah. All right. Question Bruh. number seven. The guy in room ten asks, "Which super power combo would you choose? Teleportation and super strength, or super speed and X-ray vision?" You go first. I'd do the first one. <laughs> Teleportation and super strength. Hey, what, what it? Yeah, because like. The other one was like speed and X-ray vision, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, cause I'd I'd I'd, I'd probably rather like want to be able to teleport. And what was the other thing? Invincible? Was that what it was? Um. Wait, w w for w the first one or the second one? First one. Oh, the first one was teleportation and super strength. Oh yeah, because I can teleport when someone tries to hit me. You know, teleport on the other side and you know flick them away. I'd much rather do that than be able to run really fast and look at all the females through my action. I don't know. Pretty sure the uh, first one's better. I think I agree. I think the first one's better. Yeah, I'd rather do teleportation and super strength, I think. Because, I mean, even the, even the teleportation and super strength, they kind of are similar. Like, it's good to have those both. You know, teleport to their side. And just like, yeah, true. Like, tell, like, you see a guy across yeah. the room and you hate him. Teleport, boom, punch him, teleport back, or something like that. Super Ooh, speed yeah. and X-ray vision. Wow, how, that's so oh, random. Yeah. Like, what, you're gonna run by people and like see their bones or something? Yeah. What? <laughs> like that analogy, though. I mean, that uh, go though. <laughs> Get X-ray vision to like see people naked, but if you have super strength, yeah, so they can impress all the ladies and yeah, <laughs> get them anyway. <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> Question number eight. Seaman1512 asks, if you guys had the choice to eat any one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? It has to be food and you can only choose one thing. I wouldn't choose to eat any one. He said, if you had to choose. Yeah, you have to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I, I just thought he said, if you guys. Oh. What? No, he says, if you had the choice. Oh, okay. If if it's a choice, I would keep my variety of foods going. But I, I don't think that's that. what he meant. I don't think that's what he meant either. But yeah. Kareem, you go first. Yeah, you can go first, bro. <laughs> um. Oh, it's got a Twitter follower. Okay, but um. You were blowing up my Twitter before this. I was. I was like. I was like. I, my phone was in my pocket, and I hit. Like, <laughs> oh my God! Who is doing this? Because I did the uh, Stephanie like a couple days ago, but I didn't do it to you. Yeah. Yeah. But um, this is the guy with the the what's his name? Is his picture right? What? Connor Gregor. Greer. Uh, with Dexter as his profile Dexter, picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, I saw that question too. I'd probably see. I'd like to say bacon because I like bacon, but I'd die pretty quickly. Yeah. True. Like if I had to do one. Th Food, like you know, drinks aside, it'd probably be like salad. Salad? I would say beans, because you get a lot of protein in beans yeah. and everything. And well, salad with beans. 
salad with beans. Oh, I think that counts as two things, though. Uh, well, well, wouldn't salad. salad count as multiple things? Because oh, yeah, that would count. Well, a bunch of things the together. Yeah, it's just, multiple, it's just the lettuce. That's it. Multiple heads of lettuce. Get. Lettuce heads. <laughs> we have an inside joke about lettuce heads. Um, hmm. I'm thinking maybe... Hmm. Apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah. I Like, I would definitely want it to be something vegan out of morals. And, and well, actually, for health reasons, too. Like, it'll... I, I think I have more healthy choices if I'm going vegan. Um, And apple just... I don't know. Apples are delicious. I mean, I'd, I'm sure I'd get sick of them, but still, they're delicious. Plus, like, they kind of clean your teeth. Like, if, if you eat, like, lettuce or something, you can't caught in your teeth. But apples, they just, they're kind of... Well, it's not like you can't brush your teeth. You. Yeah, I know, but it's, like, still. Like yeah, I'll eat an apple and... after, like, eating candy and feel clean. Yeah. Like, what if you're out and, like, I, you brought, dude, you had to bring a lunch? And... Dude, I can Every time I eat salad, never have a problem with it getting stuck in my teeth. Every time I eat an apple, the skin gets stuck in my teeth. Really? Every single time. Maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I, I would pick apples because I want to be like Applejack. Is is that a good enough reason for that you? That is an excellent reason. Okay, I think we can move on then. Question number... Nine. Good job. Good job. Mr. Yokosuma asks, are you homophobic? Not at all. <laughs> In fact, I'm bisexual. I that, that would be like being racist against white people. Like, you, you can't do that. You just can't do that? I mean, I mean, <laughs> your reaction, no. I know, that's I mean, why I was I like, you Basically, should go I first, because I know you want to let it out. Yeah. I, I don't like the term homophobic, because it's not like you're scared of them. You're just an asshole. Well, no, that's, that's, yeah. that's what people, that's why a lot of people get confused. A lot of people think if they don't like homophobes, or, so, sorry, homophobe, and, <laughs> A lot of people think if you don't like homosexuals that you're homophobic, but the term phobic means fear. Yeah. So it, I mean, there are people in the world who are who are legit scared of homosexual people. Yeah, but that's not many. Like, yeah, that's not many. Most people, about, when they say they're homophobic, they mean that they just don't like homosexuals. Yeah. It's not homophobic. It, by definition, is that really what homophobic means? Because I just I thought it meant you don't like homosexuals. Like I. Yeah, that's what many people... Well, phobia or phobic means fear. Yeah, I know. That's why I think it's a weird term, but I thought I thought that was still what it is. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But no, I am absolutely not. I I couldn't be. I'm dating this person right here who's bisexual. <laughs> You're dating Kareem? What? You're dating <laughs> Kareem? Cause no, I, 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 I went like this. I went like this. Dude, we're dating. So, either way, it's got to be a no problem. <laughs> Nareem? What? Yeah, we'd be, no, we could be Karathan. Karathan. I ship it. <laughs> Do you ship it? Comment down below. Defareem. <laughs> yep, that'd be it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, did did you answer? No, he didn't yet. Oh, no, I'm not. Either, either the way that people think, like, you know, I'm not homophobic, like, I'm not scared, and I don't not like them either. Yeah. So. I, right. Yeah, both for me. I didn't specify. Yeah, both for me too. I, I can't really be scared of myself. Yeah. I don't care that I have twenty percent battery. Get out of here. All right. Uh, well, so, that was our last question, anyway. Yeah. Before we go, uh, there, yes, we did. We do realize there is no weekly random segment this week, but that's because we're next doing, Monday we're doing something very special. Yeah. Because. Um, very, do you know yeah. why? It'll be the one year anniversary since our first episode. So we're well. Bruh. I get we're not really. We're kind of doing the opposite of like celebrating. I guess I guess it's more of a celebration for them because it'll be because it. It's kind of like we're gonna do two weekly random segments tomorrow because we want to do something special for Monday and then we'll also do one for Friday like normal. Just to but we're not reviewing our, it yet. <laughs> you think you think you're ready for what we're gonna do Monday? No. I, I won't be ready. You, you, you won't be ready even... I, no. No? <laughs> I don't think I will either. I, I had to screenshot. Okay. You'll be more ready than me. But, yeah. 
I, I feel like we should tell Kareem what we're doing after we shut yeah, off Kar- the camera. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we will, don't tell anybody, but we will tell you what we are doing yeah. on Monday for the very awesome. special thing. And that's it. Peace out. Oh. Wait, thanks for watching episode number 125. How can I forget to say that? Comment your questions down below and make and send us backgrounds and intros. Oh. Try to keep the intros under 30 seconds and make well, sure... Kareem? What size are the backgrounds and intros? I didn't hear what you said. What? What size should the backgrounds and intros be? I don't. I don't know. I heard. It, I heard it. And I paid attention to it, and I was like, "That shouldn't be relevant." And I hate myself. It's okay. It's okay. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Does it have something to do with thirty? No. <laughs> mm. Well, the intros are under thirty <laughs> seconds, so you're kind of close there. Love you. <laughs>